Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today is our part 6 of the beginner's guide for Windows Server Active Directory. So let's see what we have covered so far. We have covered flexible single master operation roles. We have covered the scope of each and every role. And we have covered the schema master FSMA role. So let's see what we have for part six on the agenda today. So we'll be taking the look at taking a look at say domain naming master our next FSMA role today. So uh, let's recall again what a domain controller is or uh, is in the world of Windows Active Directory. So any computer on which Active Directory database is present can be called as a domain controller. So any computer on which Active Directory database, Active Directory domain services are installed and configured can be called as a domain controller. So let's take an example over here. Say this computer named Sydney DC or Paris DC can be called as a domain controller because Active Directory database is present on both the computers. Now in our infrastructure, we have a lot of other computers as well. We have database servers, we have web servers, mail servers, we have some workstations, laptops, file servers. But there is a clear distinction between a domain controller and uh, say other member computers. So these are all called as member computers. They are not called as domain controllers because they uh, don't host Active Directory. So there is a clear distinction between a domain controller and member computers. And the FSMA roles can be only designated to a domain controller. So we have studied, we have understood the five roles. There are five FSMA roles, schema master, domain naming master, RID master, infrastructure master and PDC emulator. So in our earlier session, uh, we have covered schema master. So today we are going to talk about a domain naming master. So a domain naming master is a forest wide role means there will be only one domain controller designated as a domain naming master in the entire Active Directory forest. So let's understand the functions of a domain naming master. There's only one function addition and removal of domains in the forest. It's the only function of a domain naming master. So why we require a single domain naming master per forest only one now, the reason is the domain naming master this mechanism avoids creation of duplicate domain names in the active directory forest it maintains a database of or it maintains the names of all the domains in our active directory forest so it will if you're creating a new domain in the forest the query will go to the domain naming master and if that domain name is not present then you, we will be able to create a new domain. So this mechanism will avoid creation of duplicate domain names in our active directory. That's the reason it's only one domain naming master per forest. So the main function is addition and removal of domains in the forest. So let us understand the role of domain naming master while adding a new domain in the forest. So what exactly is the role of a domain naming master when we add a new domain in the forest? So this is our typical forest contoso.com. We have two domains contoso.com and east.contoso.com and uh, we have few domain controllers in every domain and this is our domain naming master. We have a domain naming master in our contoso.com domain and uh, this domain naming master has two entries contoso.com and east.contoso.com. So as we know that the domain naming master maintains a list of all the domains in the forest 
and this will avoid creation of duplicate domain names let's say uh, we want to build a new domain in this forest contoso.com so we bring in a windows server we installed active directory domain services on this computer on the server and we configure it so a point will come when it will ask us to say give the name for this particular domain so in this example let's say we typed in south.contoso.com so the domain is not yet created so as soon as we type in the domain name this query will go to the domain naming master now the domain naming master will look in its, its list of domains and if it finds this name it will not allow us to create a domain name with this name but in our example south.contoso.com is not present in the list so we will be able to create a domain name with the name south.contoso.com and the domain naming master will also update its domain list by adding south.contoso.com so hope you have understood the one of the functions that is addition of domain in the forest this is taken care by domain naming master now let us understand the role of domain naming master while removing an existing domain from the forest it's called as domain decommissioning this process is called as decommissioning a, a domain from the forest so let's take an example again so this particular forest has two domains contoso.com and south.contoso.com with few domain controllers and this is our domain naming master and we have one more domain testing.contoso.com with one domain controller so in this contoso.com forest we have three domains contoso.com south.contoso.com and testing.contoso.com now the no domain naming master has the list of all the three domains so the domain naming master knows about all the three domain names now our task is to decommission testing.contoso.com domain so we log on we logged on to the domain controller and uh, we need to uninstall active directory domain services from that particular domain controller now a time will come that uh, our active directory while uninstalling it it will ask us for an option and uh, there are many options and one of the options will be this is the last domain controller in this domain so as soon as we select this is the last domain controller in this domain and click on next active directory will come to know that we are in a process of decommissioning this particular domain so as soon as we click on next the query will go to domain naming master the domain naming master will erase the name from his list and the domain will be then decommissioned and this particular server will be then rebooted and it will be out of our forest it will be the part of work group so this is how we decommission a domain and after the decommissioning of a domain now our domain naming master will have only two domain names south.contoso.com and contoso.com so this is the process this is the function of a domain naming master addition and removal of domains in our active directory forest so again it is a forest wide role so it can be on any domain controller in any domain it can be on this domain controller in contoso.com domain or it can be on this domain controller on north.contoso.com 
and it can be on even this domain controller south.contoso.com or it can be again on any other domain controller in the forest but it will be only one domain controller designated as a domain naming master in the entire forest so there is no rule as such that your FSMA rules should be on this domain controller there are some recommendations but there is no hard and fast rule so again why single domain naming master per forest the domain naming master mechanism avoids creation of duplicate domain names okay, in our entire forest it maintains a track of all the domain names in the forest so this mechanism helps us to avoid creation of duplicate domain names so let's go to the summary we have understood what is a domain naming master and uh, we have also understood the functions of domain naming master and uh, of course we have understood the importance as well of domain naming master why we require a single domain naming master per forest this is end of part six hope you have enjoyed today's session as well and uh, in our next session we will be taking a look at the next fsma rule that is rid master so thank you for watching if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new please subscribe and share this video with your technical technical community and have a great day bye bye